everybody and thank you for joining me um welcome to riverside crafts today and we're going to be looking at some shrink plastic and how we can make um bits for our crafting really so making embellishments or um making things fit when you want to make something smaller so i'll show you what i've been doing to start with with shrink plastic what you have to remember is it, it goes the in colour will intensify once you to make it smaller. So this one's been made into a little badge. We have the brooch backs at the shop, and uh, which is really cool for little kids. They love badges. Um, teenagers in the house, pair of cool earrings, a little bit of fun. Um, so that makes nikes quite nice. And you can make your own little tiny sort of bits for your to go on as your embellishments. So I'll show you how I did that as well. Um, this is the piece I originally did and I've got two gnomes on here This gnome is one of the new ones and that's one I shall be stamping out today and this one here is actually My Christmas is actually this one with his Christmas tree But what I've done is I've blocked off the Christmas tree and the bauble and I've added in a little bit of a sign I've just drawn it roughly so he's got a sign so I'm going to show you how I use my shrink plastic and what I do um, here again I've shrunk my gnomes down so that they work for my house, done my little gnome house with my toadstools um, and made my little embellishments with my gnomes sort of hanging around underneath my toadstools outside their house. So that's another way of using your shrink plastic because these would be way too big to use when you look at scale otherwise. Okay, so shrink plastic um, comes in different finishes you can get um completely white or this is the clear it has a glossy side and a matte side now i tend to stamp onto the glossy side and color onto the um matte because it holds color better on the matte side so i'm going to put my bit of shrink plastic in and my stamp which is here make sure it's all lined up yeah that's fine um I put a bit of white card underneath it so you can see. Now, when I'm, cause I'm stamping on a shiny surface, I will either use Archival or Stazon because they're a permanent ink. Um, today, I'm going to be using my Archival because that's the one I've got um, prepped to use. I've just re-inked this one and then I haven't done the Stazon yet, so I thought I'd use this one. So I'm just giving it a light tap. Now... that on there do that okay just put my fingers in to make sure it doesn't go everywhere and there he is nicely stamped now i want to show you a little trick i learned this morning um just so that you can see so i'm just going to put a little bit of ink there quickly and do a mush duck okay right obviously I don't want that ink on that side because I'm not using it. So if you take a baby wipe and you're quick, you can actually wipe most of it off. If you're not quick enough, you can use a little bit of stays on cleaner on the glossy side only. It doesn't work on the other side. I've tried it. And you can actually use that to remove what you've put on there. So you can actually clean your, stain, your, your shrink plastic if you've made a mess to start again which I thought was quite good because if you like me, crafting is a bit, a bit on the messy side. So there's my image. Now you can color with pencils, with alcohol markers, um, quite happily. I'm going to use alcohol markers this time because I want to show you how, as you notice, I've just turned it over. So that was the front. That's the glossy side I've just stamped on. I'm just going to turn it over to start doing my, my coloring now. Okay. So I'm going to start colouring in his hat. Now, any colours I put down will be intensified um, when you shrink it. They, they, they become a lot deeper or a lot brighter, depending on what you're doing, because you're, you're obviously going to concentrate the shrink plastic, which makes it a bit different. You can also draw on your shrink plastic with um, a Sharpie or a Micron pen, um, as long as it's a permanent pen. You can you can draw on it quite happily um, and give yourself a, a different sort of feel again, which is quite nice. Just gonna put a little bit of 
a different green on the edges to make it feel like it's a, a got a bit of a shape to it a little bit of shadow okay so that's not too bad a little bit here okay i'm just going to blend that in That's one of the nice things using your alcohol markers. You can blend your edges in quite nicely so you don't end up with any harsh colours where you don't really want them. Okay, that's doing quite nicely now. dark colour here blend that in okay put a little bit of brown across here for me do his shoes You can use any alcohol markers to do this. Um, it's not, a, you know, you're not going to have a, an issue with them. Um, I'm just using the ones that I've got on my desk at the minute, um, just to give it a little bit of a, a different feel. Right, let's do the leaves quickly. Darker green. Too bad at the minute coming along quite nicely now you couldn't color on the same side that you stamped it because with an alcohol marker because you're using an alcohol ink as your base to stamp with and they're two together you will end up with them um, a smudgy mess so you can't you've got to turn it over to be able to use alcohol markers on it because otherwise it won't work it will just end up in a little bit of a mess for you you probably won't be overly impressed with it right so that's him colored in so i'm just going to cut him out quickly um you can just cut it out with a night with a um, normal pair of scissors no problem there um it cuts out quite nicely and quite easily the string plastic feels quite brittle when you do it when you first start cutting it so just take your time and don't rush um, with it. It isn't brittle, but it does feel like it is going to be. And if you're not sure, just take it a bit slower. Oops, got my fingers all mashed up there.
if you want to alter your stamp again you can do slightly you can draw on more on it less on it um take something off because with, with the stays on so if you didn't want the, all the flowers on him you can take them off and fill him in and change him up a little bit which is quite nice get more out of your stamps the excess so I'm not arguing with it Power petal off, never mind. That's what happens when you rush a bit, isn't it? Now, often when you're doing a larger piece of shrink plastic, it can buckle in on itself, which you'll see in a minute. Um, you just need to wait and give your yourself give your shrink plastic time. It will come back round to being flat. One of the other things that you do need when you're doing shrink plastic is a acrylic block and I'll show you why in a minute as we start to play with things. I'm going to do some smaller ones to start with, uh, mainly because I think it will help you to sort of see how it works. Now what I've just done with my pokey tool, there it is. I've got a brain like a sieve today. So I've just put my mushroom on here. Okay, and I'm just going to heat him up. I'm holding him in place with the pokey tool so I'm not getting my fingers too close to the hot to the heat. It doesn't matter which side you heat, it will still do the same thing. And it will just start to you see how it's just starting to curl up? And that is just curling up quite nicely at the moment. Right, I'm just gonna turn it over. Okay, and I'm going to just push down a second and I'll move the mat and there you can see there's the little mushroom. So he's gone from being this sort of size down to here. So it's a lot of a, a lot of shrink, isn't it? I put, um, his, here he is stamped out. So there you go. Now you can see that's where he was and that's where he is. Okay, so that's quite a, a lot of shrink. Quite cute as well, isn't he? Okay, so I've done that bit. Now, one of the other things I'm just going to say to you is, it's, the night, it's heat tools. If you like me, you knock them over. So I keep mine in a plant pot because um, I can't knock it over so much. And if it is hot on the end, I'm not going to burn myself. So that helps. Right, we'll just do a bit, another bit that's a bit bigger. This one this time is a sentiment. It says Merry Christmas on it. Um, just to how I can use it as a sign on a card when it gets to being up there we go you see how it's all curling up and uncurling i'm just going to flip it over a second make sure it's all done down nicely you see how it flattens itself out as well quite nicely and i'm just using my acrylic block just to make sure it goes nice and flat so there's my sentiment now, um, which is quite nice to have on the edge of a card. Right, a large one. Here we are with the big gnome. Okay, now obviously I can't heat all of him in one go. But so what I keep doing is I go up and down him so that he starts to melt sort of as, as much as I can at the same time. I always keep them on a glass block. I find that that works a lot better. As you can see, this really curls up on itself. Don't panic. Okay, just don't panic. Let it give it time for a minute. Right, just put that down for a second. While it's still warm, I'm just going to stretch it out a minute. 
and make sure we're not stuck to each other. There we go, nearly there. I'm just gonna just give it another blast. Okay, turn him over. there we go so he's gone from sort of that size down okay his hair is a lot darker and what so we'll do this one I've just colored so that you can see how because the moment he's quite bright green so I'm just gonna do and take him down again okay and you'll watch it it all really curls up I'm just going up and down him again Heating him from as much as you can from all directions. Might, oh, quick, turn it over. There we go. Okay, block on just to make sure it's nice and flat. Okay, can you see how much darker green his hat is? So it's really easy to make some very simple um, string plastic elements to go on your things. One of the things that um, you need to remember to do is if you want to hang it on something, so like this little mushroom here, you must put the hole in before you shrink him because you won't be able to do it afterwards. So you've got your... So I've put my hole in him here. Nope, come back. Thank you. He's having this one wandering away today. He doesn't want to come. He doesn't want to do it. So yeah, that's holding tighter. Okay. I'll turn him over for a moment. There we go, press down. And he's got his little hole in him just there. So I can hang him onto something if I want to. Okay, I hope that helps. Um, I absolutely adore playing with shrink plastic. You could make little charms for a little girl's bracelet. Um, like I said earlier, badges. Badges are really easy to do. <laughs> I do apologise for that. My granddaughter's cold has come home to roost. So it's just a way of playing and bringing them all in. So I've used them on here. They're all loose at the moment. So I can put my little, I can have my little ones next to my the bigger ones. I've got different gnomes I can put in. Put them wherever I fancy. Have a bit of a, a play with them all. And that so they can come all over the place and be hidden around quite happily so you can have your gnomes doing all sorts and your toadstools i hope you've enjoyed that today um and bits and have a go with your shrink plastic have a play you can draw on it like i said earlier quite happily um i use a permanent marker pen and i draw myself a heart Quite happily okay we can color him in just a little bit of a red pen I've got to be careful not to go to the edge because it's permanent pen a permanent marker and it will bleed into the red if I'm not careful So that's quite easy to do. If you want to write on it, what I tend to do is I write on it with a water-based marker on one side, or I write what I wanted it to say, and then I put it down and write it down in revert, and then copy it onto the reverse. Because that way around, I get it so it works better. Because otherwise, it sort of doesn't it doesn't stay there very well. So I would get my micron pen. 
right happy christmas and draw myself a sign around it doesn't have to be particularly neat it's quite good actually if it's not too neat and too tidy okay like so just trim that up He's in there quite nicely. Colour it on the back, whatever colour I fancy. Um, I think we'll do a green one today. Colour it all in green on the back here. Use the broad nib, it'll be quicker. heat that up quite quickly I'm just going to make my H look more like a, it's a bit more calligraphy ish because I can do that now I've done this bit so I'm going to widen that one up if you've done some if you can do calligraphy this is a nice way of doing something a bit more Okay, it doesn't need to be particularly neat because when you've shrunk it, now we can tell how bad your writing is. Turn it over in a second. Go. I've got a nice little element I can put on the edge of my card that says Happy Christmas. Thank you very much for joining me this afternoon. Um, hope to see you next week. Next week we're going to be doing um, a quick Christmas present, which is a, a little notepad. Um, and I will be doing some distressing work to show you how, how they all work together um, and be doing that this time round. So I hope you like it. And I look forward to seeing you again. Take care. Thank you for watching.